Previously on Dank D&D. Outsider? Let me just eat my food. Well, you, you offered us a chef's table. Where, where's the food? All I see is a bloody rack. He points the knife at you and he says, You are the food, signore. After about a terrifying minute of holding your breath, you fall what feels like 20 feet, but it's probably more like five feet, but it just hurts because you hit hard cobblestones and it just Wah! And you're laying on your backs, looking up at this giant pulsating asshole above you. These two golden butt cheeks. And you can tell that this is the ass end, the bowels of that restaurant. But what, what surrounds you now as you look around, covered in the slime from that horrible anus, is not an opulent place like Fascination Street. This is a slum, man. This, you're in the ghetto now. You guys have just been squeezed out the anus, you're looking up at the butt cheeks. Those of you that have looked around, and all of you have had time now to look around, you're in a slum. And you see people kind of giving you the side eye before they go on about their business. Just kind of, some of them are panhandling, some of them seem to be scrabbling around in the dirt. I mean, this looks desperate. This looks like a place that's on the verge of collapsing from just neglect. And you do see some people striding around. And as you, your eyes focus, you notice that every single citizen that you see is wearing a weeping bronze mask affixed to their face. You can't see any of their faces. It's just a horrible, hideous countenance. And each one is different, but all of them are weeping in some horrible way. And some people are walking upright, very tall. And their masks are not bronze. Their masks are made of a very shiny, polished, brass and they are not weeping but have a very stern look and they're walking amongst the people and looking and walking with their hands behind their backs just kind of observing everyone as they go about and uh, none of them have seen you just yet so you have the opportunity to make a plan of attack here if you want I, I, I want to look and see how close we are to the spire now if it got us any closer <clears> you can tell that working your way through the gut has brought you closer to the spire in fact it if it dominated the skyline before, you can almost see nothing else when you look up now. You can tell you're truly close to the base of the spire. Uh, Thrain just clutches his axe like, ang like uh, angrily and he uh, just starts walking towards the spire. Okay, so you're gonna start walking towards the spire. Are you you, you can just follow? see red. You you all can just see red in his eyes. So you say that this is like a destitute place. Like, are there um, like shadows and things about to hide in? Yes. Like in the shadows. Yes. Spire? This is, like I said, this is a slum, so it's a right. very dirty buildings and like I said, abandoned buildings. So a, a rogue could very well sneak. Because I have uh, camouflage and all kinds of other sneak shit. So okay, I have a thirteen stealth. So well, as so so he's already walked off. He's doing unless he wants approach. to retract that, which I'll allow him to do. I want to try to. He, I don't think he wants to. He's pissed. I want to try to follow his path. But in the stealthily. shadows and stealthily. Fair enough. Give me your roll and give me your modifier for stealth. 13 is my modifier. Oh, wow. So, yeah, give me any roll here. 18. Yeah, you, okay. So you are like a shadow of a shadow of a fart of a fruit fly <laughs> smelled 2,000 miles away by a whisper in the wind. <coughs> okay. In the nighttime. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, so During I'm... a fucking lunar eclipse. Right. Thrain is strolling oh, down the street. Uh, uh, Blovius Thrap is moving He's silently not like a shadow. He's fucking marching down right. that street. He's fucking pissed. Ashley, what have you decided that you are going to do? Well, um, <coughs> it's a new day, so I'm just going to go ahead and use um, my grit for the day to do my disguise again. Okay, fair enough. Go ahead. You can burn that. You are now disguised, and you, well, see, here's the thing. You're disguised to a point, but you do notice yes. one thing that you can't fashion, which is one of these masks, and you are, you know, yeah. there's, you're going to stand out for that. But you have, you've blended into the best of your ability with the misery that you see around you. Okay. So I get, like, Enough plus, to stay off the radar. plus 10 on disguise checks, so if I need 
if you need to do a check, then I just yeah. fair enough. If it comes up, yeah. we'll we'll go for it. But you minutes. are kind of following as well behind Thrain. Yeah. Moving amongst the crowd. Okay. Yeah. And uh, follow Thrain. Okay. Same thing. So as you're strolling Thrain, of course you are uh, fast and ahead of the group because you started and you're angry and you're angsty. Um, you eventually get the. Uh, you know, the attention of one of these masked patrolmen. And that's what they look like, really, now that you're close enough, like a constable. And uh, one of them puts their hand up and it says, uh, says, uh, uh, Spawn of the ass, stop! Get out of my fucking way! Stop! Where is your mask? <coughs> uh, can I roll an intimidate? Sure, roll an intimidate. All right. Uh, 13. Third, do you have an? Is that, is that just your raw? Uh, it's uh. That, it All right. With my mod. So go mind. ahead and tell me how you try and intimidate him. I have my shield and my axe out, and I'm I'm I look like I'm pissed off, and my face is just pure anger is projected. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm ready to kill whoever I come across, and I just tell him to get out of my fucking way. He's. You can tell that he's a little startled. You can see him take a, a half step back. He reaches into his pack and he, he he's trying to be very slow and he he's holding in one of his hands now a mask. And he says, Wear your mask and you can go along your way. I, I just take it and, and uh, put it on and I just keep going. Well, as you put it on, you feel it attach almost magnetically to your face. It's a weeping bronze mask. But you just keep going. Okay, so <coughs> Ashley and... Uh, or, uh, Meredith and, and Blovius, you, because of your stealth checks and your burning of your grit point, manage to move unseen through the crowd and are not stopped. But you, Falsa, <coughs> of course, not having any stealthy arts, are uh, stopped. And, uh, spawn of the ass, wear your mask, and you're handed a mask. What do you do? Eh, not, nothing really. I'll just take the mask. You okay, so out. same thing as uh, Stevie. When you put it on, you can just bang! But you're able to keep moving. And as you move through, you being at the head, you, as you're strolling through, the crowd thins out a little bit. And you can see ahead of you <coughs> a great gate. And you hear from an alleyway to the side of you, Psst! Hey, big fella! Okay, uh, I turned to look. You see like a little street urchin, like a little kid. He's not wearing a mask, and he goes, This way. All right. He's kind of waving you into an alley. I'm, I'm calming down a little bit. Okay. It's, it's, a, it's a kid. Right. And I, I decide to just sh shrug it off and follow him. Okay, so you kind of veer off into the alley, and I'm assuming all of you <coughs> follow. follow. Yeah. Okay, so once you're all kind of a good ways away from the main drag, the little boy stops you and he says, Good choice. He says, You want to make it into that spire? Booger knows the way. Uh, yeah. I'm lifting up my, the, uh, the, the Oculus. How did you know you want to get into the spire? I saw where he was walking to. This road only leads one way, mister, right to that spire. And for him, if he'd have went that way, his head on a pike. <laughs> I'm going to hand, hand the Oculus to uh, Blovius. What I'm you still think? hiding somewhere. Oh, yeah, I don't know where I'm like, you, you, I'm like, you, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm on like a rooftop or something. Sure. Kind of watching. So it's just sure me enough. and Tulsa. Uh, have you come out of stealth, or did you join um, them? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm joining them. You're standing them. around yeah, with them, so I'm you remain them. kind of <coughs> in the periphery, perched somewhere on a, you know... Yeah, so I, I'm like on a rooftop all right, got watching it. from like... Fair a enough. Do you, do you all want to check him? <coughs> well, if it's getting like he probably yeah. wants us in the spire anyways. I say we just go with the kid. But this could just... When leave. you say Gimlek, the kid says, Shh! You don't say that name around here. Why not? It's the Gourmand. That name. Get you in trouble around here. Uh, what do you want for getting us into the spire? Said, you. You look mad. <laughs> to kill the Gourmand. Very much so. 
He just shrugs and look at you, looks at you. Look around. <coughs> Right. But still, I mean, how did you know? That's what we were here for. I saw him walk towards the spire. Angry look. I saw his encounter with the constable. You don't, see that, you don't see that all the time? You don't see him walk towards the spire like that? Not an outsider. Not a child of the ass. <clears throat> I don't know. <coughs> what are you guys thinking? You want to take him up on his offer? Or do you want to try to... I mean, there must be another way if, if you guys don't want to take that path. Well, I don't know if it's just march straight in there. I mean, I, I don't think that could possibly work. I mean, maybe, yeah. but... Tulsa yeah. says I'm the way I know... He says the way I know is unguarded. 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 And you're going to lead us there? Yes. Speaking of guards, what type of guards does the Gourmand have? Outside the spire, many guards. Large men, large shields, big axes, big swords. Yeah, all I can say is honestly, when I was in the banquet, I mean, I never saw guards. It was, everyone was, just seemed content. The banquet? Me. You ate at the gourmand's gut. I ate at the gourmand's table. Truly. At his table. <gasps> how was the food? You can see, you, maybe you all noticed for the first time how hungry this kid is. He's emaciated. You have a sweet. <clears throat> <gasps> he looks like you just gave him the best present that he ever had, and he almost stuffs it in his mouth, but then he just puts it in his pocket. You know, save that for later. I have more. Could you show us? I'll the take way? you now. I'll take you now. Yes. Uh, I come out of the shadows and say we go. All right. Go. So he leads you to a sewer grate and a long, winding, disgusting trail through a disgusting, fetid sewer. And as he's walking, he tells you all where he's taking you. Says he's only been there once. Says it was empty. And he calls it the Chapel of Many Masks. He says that it's a giant, opulent, religious place inside the base of the spire somewhere. And he said that for the moments that he was there, when he cast his lantern around on the walls, he saw faces staring back at him from every angle. And he... Didn't, he didn't feel safe staying, so he did a quick look around and left. And that was the last time he'd been there. Game of Thrones shit right here. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and this is as far as you take us? Yes. I know not how to get out of that room. Sweeties. He eats one of the cookies and saves the rest. <clears throat> Keeps marching forward through the filth. Have any questions for Booger? What, what can we, do you know anything about the inside of the spire? Anything at all? He says, only his guards go in and out of the front. No one that ever goes <coughs> in comes out. Even the guards, they, they don't come out at all? He says, I can't tell a guard from a guard. You've seen their masks. I say that none of us. When, when, when one of us is taken in, I've never seen them again. Well, let's just hope that means they got out. <clears throat> I don't think they ever got out. Well, Definitely look, not. I mean, if we're going to go to the spire, you know, you know, it's us or Gimlik. Like, let's just go in. Let's, let's take this path. I don't see any other choice we have. I mean, it's well guarded on the outside. How are we going to get in? Into the spire. What do you think? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. Booger. All right, so he leads you down an increasingly tight passageway, a small crawlway up an almost impossibly tight drain, but you're all able to just squeeze through some easier than others. <laughs> and you find exactly what Booger says. And when you turn around to thank him, all you see is a package of empty sweeties laying on the ground and he's already retreated <laughs> having fulfilled his end of the bargain and you obviously you can see in the dark and you see exactly what he said a giant sprawling cathedral like room <coughs> uh, adorned with the different faces uh, all with different expressions of anger angst sadness horrible woe sorrow rage 
Um, there seems to be an altar at the very head of it, once again, almost completely dotted here and there with these masks, just like the walls. The walls aren't completely covered, but, you know, very, there's a lot of masks on the walls here. All right. Well, I mean, all I see is this altar up there and then masks everywhere. So, the altar? <laughs> or want to try and go some other way? So, I have, um... Yeah, you have the Smith Mask skills here. Maybe you can detect uh, or see something we can't discern. Let's see. I have, I have some good knowledge to engineering. Okay. Okay. Could I make a roll Go for ahead that? and do that. Yeah, why don't you make a roll for that? All right. See if we can discern anything. Uh, 18. An 18. You can tell that the masks on the wall are not firmly affixed. They're not part of the wall. They're affixed to the wall. Hmm. Might be able to come off of the wall. This, I'll try to pull one down. We should, <coughs> this might be a puzzle or something. Uh, let me sense trap. Okay. Okay. Give me your roll. Uh, hold on. I need to see what my modifier might be on that. Um, this might be a puzzle where we have to remove certain masks to open the right, way. I just want to see if yeah. it's going to set off a trap if we remove a mask. Uh, where would that be? I guess I have trap finding as a special ability, but I don't know the rules for it. What is that? Uh, you <coughs> I'm just going to roll. You'd, yeah. I think you'd roll a perception, and it gives you like a bonus to your uh, skills if you're <coughs> trap finding, which I think is plus two. Okay. I only got a six, so. Yeah, right. so that's not fair. All right, you can't detect any traps, but you do with a low roll like that, and I think that in, most of you can tell that the altar at the, in this place <coughs> of certain special <coughs> it being the only kind of fixture in the room. So... I, I want to approach the altar slowly. Okay. And um, I want to see, while I'm approaching, I want to see if I can try and take off my mask because I... I my character wasn't really thinking at the time about the permanence of this mask mm -hmm. or not. So he, I'm trying to try to take it off to see. Uh, you can When you tug on it, it hurts. It's like it's attached to your skin. All right. Uh, <coughs> I, I accept it and proceed forward. Okay. As you approach the altar, a voice booms throughout. And it's mm -hmm. almost like all of the masks in the place are speaking at once. And it says your name. Thrain Svensson. Will you give me your face? Quiet. At what cost? Says Thrain Svensson. Will you give me your face? Guys? Uh, uh, I wouldn't I do it. it. I mean, that's up to you, dog. Don't do it, man. No. <laughs> then leave this place. Yes, thing. Do we just do it, or do we try to just move forward? I mean, I don't have a mask, so you know, like. Even though you haven't approached the altar, the voice booms and says, "Thulsa, boom. Will you give me your face?" No. Then leave this place. Thrain says a prayer to Gorham, and he says, "Fine, you can have my face." As you finish that sentence, a horrible searing pain as the mask rips away. It doesn't take your face skin with it, but you'll never forget the searing agony of that mask leaving you. And it almost magnetically just flies to the altar. Ting! And as it does that, <coughs> more masks start to shake on the wall Ting! and attach themselves to the altar slowly, one by one. Ting! Thulsa, your face starts to ache. Desperately. Tink! You experience the same agony as Thrain as your face is ripped from you. Everybody you were told to up. leave and you didn't. Uh -huh. Tink! The masks continue to <coughs> pile up and as they do, <coughs> they grow and take form and shape. A giant hulking mask of masks, or mass of masks, God damn it! Now place yourselves towards the back of this room where the altar is. Man. 
Okay, so wait, put Thrain a little closer here because this is going to be our altar. So Thrain is the one that has approached. So yeah, I'd say there that's fine. And that's where the rest of you start. And um, so this giant, now we're not going to start combat yet unless one of you wants to attack this thing outright, which I will give you the opportunity to react and do now. Thrain, you want to attack or? No, I want to see what happens. Okay. Okay, so nobody's okay. I, I want to see see if, it, if I can get my people a chance to get closer <coughs> to me or not. I, I don't sure. know. So it for all of the masks in the room have now joined this altar and created this <coughs> giant hulking beast you see before you—a mask golem, comprised of all these writhing masks, and they're all making noises uh, commensurate with their faces. The laughing masses masks are laughing, and it creates this horrible cacophony that's almost impossible to not plug your ears against. And then all of a sudden it goes silent. For a brief moment you hear nothing and then you hear a clap. And from a dark shadowy corner of the room <coughs> it just kind of materializes. It's Sheriff Galvin. He says, Howdy. Well, you folks have done well. And then you hear a clink. Step, step. Clink. I'm using the Oculus. On who? Um, Galvin? Yeah. When you look at Sheriff Galvin, <coughs> there's a red aura, and it gets brighter and brighter, almost hard to look at. And when it clears, his face is just a writhing mass of horrible, lumpy, twisted flesh. Fight me, Gimlick. <coughs> he says, boy, and by the way, the ruby crystal shatters. And that's the final use of the Oculus. And he says, boy, I ain't Gimlick. And you hear the shuffling and this kind of wooden knocking. And from the other corner of the room walks yet another shape. And I'm going to start putting people out here. And it, you, you can see that it's Ghouli, the little gnome, wow. shuffling on his crutches. And he says, oh, you come a long way since the last time you saw me. You've done well. <coughs> And then finally, you hear one more voice from the back. And it doesn't belong to a person, but it belongs to something else that you know is in the room, but you can't quite see. And it says, Step forward, my general. Dude, you guys were too fucking easy. Every time. Every twist, every turn. <coughs> Just follow the path endlessly along. I, I mean, I'll be honest with you. Sometimes we have to manipulate people to come here. It's difficult. You have to make hard decisions for them. But you guys, I mean, I might as well just left the front door open. It was nothing. You, fell, you just fell for everything. I mean, sometimes, I guess, you know, things just come to you. I'm going to bull rush uh, Falsa. <laughs> All right, so roll initiative. Oof. Okay. Four. 19. No. Okay. And I have one range. 14. I rolled 19. Uh, Mine's 17. <clears throat> All right. Um, I rolled a, a one for one of mine. So one of our masked guys. In fact, our mask golem is going to go last on the stack, so let's put him at the end. <coughs> you guys kind of figure out where you are in the stack. I'm on, I'm on. Let me give you two more rolls. There's an eight, and there's another one. So put... I guess I'll roll against those two. Who cares? Alright, whatever. Put um one of the uh, faceless men and the mask golem at the very bottom of the stack. And then the other one had an eight, so put him wherever he is with you guys. All right, so I had 19. TJ, what did you have? Scotty, you're at the top. Steven, what did you have? I, I had a four. You had a four? Okay. Yeah. Ashley, so, what did you have? I had a 17. You had a 17. Oh, you're using the order? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I did, I did 14. 14. All right. Thank you. You're with TJ. Let's see. TJ. What was yours again? Uh, I was four. All right. You have your phone over there, Scotty? Yep. I'm going to send you 
Are you the second? bestiary for one of these guys because I want you because yeah. you're the general. Okay. I'm gonna control the mass golems movements. And <coughs> How many characters do you have? Stuff over here? and you're, three? if you want, you don't have to. Paul. But Paul, you, you have three I'm characters. Okay, cool. Paul, huh? you have three characters over here. Yeah, there's right. two. There's two faceless men and a mass golem so, and Scotty. Huh, so the, the faceless man, what did they? What did they both roll? Okay, so hold on. I'm just gonna send it to you so they. One was a one, and the golem was a two. Golem well, two. you know what? Here's how we'll do it, Scotty. You just ha you handle the movement because they don't have any. Like, hold on, let me make sure here. I just need to know the roll for one of the other faceless men. The initiative roll. Oh, it was eight. Eight. Okay. That's and the so stack. That's yeah, yeah, so it was eight, one, one, basically. So bottom. Um, man, I rolled horribly in initiative this this game, by the way. <coughs> um, so yeah, they don't have any special attacks, so I will all handle that and you just kind of go go in. Now they are they are good if you can get behind for sneak attacks, but you know obviously they're yeah. exposed, so you're not going to do that. So just kind of treat them, you know, uh, and well. You'll see as we go. I can help help along a little bit with the mass golem. So you just kind of position them as you think is tactically best, and go after the targets you think are the best. Okay. Um, okay. So we know the initiative stack now. Who's at the top? Me. So you get to go first. Um, so go ahead. I am going to. Let's see. I'm going to target Meredith with flaming sphere. Okay. So Meredith is going to get targeted with Flaming Sphere. It's a, uh, my range is 100 feet with it. So and it's against her touch AC. So, correct. So um, you're going to roll against her touch AC right now to see if it fizzles or hits. 14. <coughs> 16. Okay, so it just, unless you get an initiative bonus from something. Let's see. Or not an initiative bonus, but a, would he get any like... Oh, we forgot to look up like the, the modifier. <coughs> yeah, see what the modifier. All the magic rolls were mostly like flat. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. right. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So fourteen doesn't beat sixteen. So you <coughs> throw the flaming sphere, but she's able to describe dodging it. I don't. Know, I just like kind of see it coming from so far away. I just easily sidestep with it. Okay, so you just whoosh. And Scotty, you still have a standard act. So if you want to move or anything, you can do that before the end of your turn. He's just making sure. It says that if I can use it, it can, it can stop them from moving this round. Uh, but I guess it would have to hit, though. Yeah, it has to hit. Oh, it has to hit. Okay, that's the nature. sure. Yep. Okay. That's uh, then I will. Uh, let's see. I'll position myself here. Okay. Um, now, who's next? That is Meredith. Meredith is next. All right. You're not close enough to shoot, I don't think. No. Uh, so, Okay. Okay, that's your max move distance, right? Yeah. Okay. How many I do? Can you give me... Yeah, never mind. I can see. Um, do you want to do anything else? I can't shoot from here. So. Okay. So, you will pass your turn then. Who's next? Um, I think it was TJ. Did you write it down, Scotty? Who's uh, third? Actually, I think TJ is third. Okay, so TJ. Blovius, <coughs> your move. Is the sewer still open? Um, yeah. I guess the sewer is still open. <laughs> Tactical retreat. If you want. <laughs> uh, no, I guess I'll fucking valiantly Go for it. I mean, do what you want. <coughs> uh, this is your character. Let's see, how fuck, what's the range of my crossbow? Because it doesn't really say here. Um, what's the range of one of your guns? Mine's 40 feet. So I would say it's probably 30. I, I mean, it was 25 feet. 25, okay. 25 so 25. Feet. So I'm nowhere near close <coughs> enough to use that. <coughs> uh, <coughs> let's see. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. To this position. Okay. Fair enough. Um, who's next? Uh, who had which one had the eight? Uh, that would be the dude on the left here. Faceless. Faceless one. stalker one. You can call him for brevity's sake. <coughs> now, is, does this character have range attacks? Or this, uh, they are armed with a long sword. Okay. And a little buckler shield that's more for parrying than anything. Not a huge defense. So that's each one of them is armed thusly. Okay. <coughs> I would say let's move. Let's see. One, two, three. 
Let's move them here to attack. Okay, so you're gonna take a swing at uh, Thrain? Yes. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and give a roll. I know Thrain has got AC out the Yin Yangus. I don't wanna I don't wanna be accused. Okay. I accept. Yeah, that's a natural twenty. <coughs> Times two. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> oh yeah. Wait, I have to roll twice? Uh no, it's uh you roll your damage and you multiply it by two. By two. Okay, so let me get you a damage number and let me see who I'm rolling here. Yeah, so one D eight plus four. And then plus and then that's, that's doubled. doubled. So a D eight is this bad boy, I think. Right? Yeah. You, no, that's a D10. Oh, fuck. It's like a two pyramids. Okay, that, there we go. <clears throat> and you don't multiply the uh, the plus. Okay, so it's gonna be eight and then the plus. So plus, oh, so you multiply so eight, 16, nine, 10, 12. 11, 12. Okay, 12 damage. 12 damage. So, uh, Scotty, it was your swing, so you remember he's got a masterwork long sword in his hand to and describe him. And a shield. And yeah, <laughs> describe him uh, damaging Thrain pretty badly here. <clears throat> Thrain just isn't quick enough to block. He tries to block parry of the sword, but it just he, he just moves deftly underneath and just slams into his side. Oh yeah, <laughs> right opens in the chainmail. Yeah, right in the right in a gap in the armor. You know, opens up a big old gash in you. Ouch! All right, who's after uh, eight? I think that's. Uh, let's see. I think Stevie is four. Stevie is four. Yeah, so that's gonna be your move, Thrain. Okay, so I'm going to uh, I'm gonna shift closer in this direction. Okay. Not taking attack of opportunity, but I'm mostly trying to block my line of sight from uh, the uh, the mass golem, the um, the spellcaster Thulsa. Oh, okay, from Thulsa. Got you, got you. Like I'm, I'm, I'm slowly trying to make my way. Um, so go <coughs> ahead and go with your turn. Okay, um, so I'm gonna attack the uh, the man that just attacked me. All right. And uh, that is a. Sorry, I got numbers I gotta add. Mm -hmm. Takes 30 minutes to figure out. Uh, that is a 21. Okay, so that's gonna hit. Give me your damage roll. Okay, here we go. Fire. It's not a natural 20, <coughs> right? Mm -mm. All right, so no crit. Okay, time to do more math. <laughs> 14 damage. Nice. Okay, so that's a that's a nasty cut. He answers back his wound with yet another one against the faceless stalker. So very good there. <laughs> um, I think now is the bottom of the barrel, right? So it's the last faceless stalker and then the mass yeah. golem. Yeah. Um, so your move, Scotty. And I'll even let you take the uh, d20 rolls if you prefer. That's fine. Okay. So from here on out, you can take your own rolls. So we can't move from here. Although I did roll a fucking fat 20. So we're going to do another attack on Thrain. Okay, so you moved in, in range of Thrain. You're yes. going to take another slash at him. So go ahead and roll your d20 if you prefer. 14. 14. Um, let me give you your bonus. Um, okay, so plus 2. 16. So 16. Uh, no hit. No hit, so What's it's just... AC? 22. He's, oh, he, he's like a fucking giant tank. Let's roll fucking 20 to hit him. Okay, so... Um, go ahead and describe your hit against... Or wait, describe chinking off that, that hit there. Alright, he comes... Chinking. What, 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 what? <laughs> chink. 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 You know. Yeah. He, uh, he, he approaches and uh, I chink his, uh, his uh, weapon off of my uh, shield. Awesome. Okay, so finally the mass golem, and I'll be controlling him. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, four. Five. Yeah, let's do that. Um, and that's going to put me one, two, three, four. Yep. Okay, um, so I am going to you. Uh, so what happens is, is that the mask golem rears back, and one of the masks flies off of its body at Blovius Thrap, our favorite 
freshly laid road 